everyone, it's that time again and I'm back with a new video. So in today's video, I'm going to show you a Halloween gift box. And here it is. So everyone, Halloween is everyone's favorite holiday and it's time to get the party started. This box has everything you'll need to get the party started for your kids and a couple of friends. Or you can buy more than one box set and use them as party favors or trick-or-treat giveaways from books to goodie bags to board games it's all here this beautiful box set will be the start of a spooktacular halloween ah the puns so i'm gonna show you this spooky box up close here is the spooky box of books now we're gonna take a closer look what's inside inside your spooky box we have four horribly funny shaped joke books four terrifying press-out masks, spooky board game, and three spooky loot bags. Now, this is the side. It's just showing us all the things that are inside this box. Same on the other side. At the back, when you flip it over, it's actually showing the pictures of all the things which are inside. So we have the four funny joke books four scary masks, a board game, and three loot bags. Let's open. So the first thing we get to see are the loot bags. Here is the skull and the mummy. We have Dracula and Dr. Frankenstein's monster. I I just want to say Hulk so badly. <laughs> and then same thing. So these are the three loot bags. I will open one for you so you can see exactly how they are. Very nice and sturdy. Lots of space for candy. <laughs> okay, let's set this aside and see what else is next. We have masks. Four press out masks and a spooky board game. So these are the masks. Here you can see Frankenstein's monster and mummy. So here's the skull and Dracula. That's, that's really nice. Now here at the back is something about Halloween itself. Okay, here I've taken it out. Oops. Yay! And there's space for the eyes as well. Take that out. <laughs> there you go. Oh, elastic. That is so nice. Elastic for the masks. Oh, where's the mask? Is that how you put it? Done! Ugh. I have a secret to tell you. Keep it under wraps. Ah. Why can't you get it through your thick skull? What, blood? No, this is from a fruit. I'm vegan now. Ah, I'm Frankenstein's monster but I still get all the credit. <laughs> now there is something written at the back of each mask. It's something to do with Halloween itself. I'm not going to read it. I will, however, just leave it like this and pause so you can read it for yourself if you want to. Here's number one. Two. Three, four. Now we come to the board game. The board game really reminds me of Snakes and Ladders because if you see right here, if you go to 19, hitch with the witch back to 5. So if you land here, you have to go all the way back to number 5. 
and then if you go with this guy or if you land on 16 follow me to 21 you can you can skip ahead or if you come to 33 you have to take yourself back to 22 oh no okay so how do we play this well it's pretty easy you just cut out the characters from here there are six players in total and this is the dice that you can also cut out but if I cut out these I'm actually I'm just cutting out this much of the board from the back so all of this will be removed you can use something separately if you want I think that's better but the board game itself is very nicely done if you do not have a dice to play, do not worry. Just go to Google and type in online dice. From there, you click virtual dice and coin flip. Go here. Online, you don't even need to download an app. And then whoever are the players right here, you have six players for this. Simply just click on it. Oh, not my turn. So the next person just taps. Oh, not them. Third person. Okay, not them, and so on. So if you do not have a dice, don't worry. Just use it online. Now if you flip to the back, there are some Halloween activities that you can partake in. Okay, so the first one is making a Halloween lantern. These are all the steps you have to do in order to achieve that magical Halloween jack-o'-lantern. But I'm going to do a non-traditional Halloween lantern. So let's make our jack squash without the lantern. So one here, I have my two pumpkins. We're just going to make a sad updated version of the Halloween lantern. Okay, so you can put googly eyes like that. Then you can put on the mouth pieces or the mouth parts. I have like a smiley one. There you go. We have the surprised one. Ooh. And then we have the fangs. Yeah. So let's do that. You're adorable. So you can also put different eyes. And then again on a piece of paper I've just put on some black dots. And you can use those. Ooh, to make them creepy. And then there, we have the creepy ones. And now we're gonna put on them. Okay. Just for extra decoration, you can do like this. This can be like an indoor decoration. Yay, we completed that activity. Now we're gonna go and do the pumpkin soup. I know I keep saying pumpkin, but it is really squash. So whatever I have, I'm just going to make this squash soup, pumpkin soup. We're going to make soup, okay? So I hope I have everything available here in the ingredients. And let's go make some soup. Follow me. We are in the kitchen. Uh, okay, so what do we need? We need one kg or two pounds of pumpkin flesh cut into cubes. One large chopped onion right here. We need one large potato peeled and cubed. I have it right here and it's washed. Two large cloves of garlic crushed. I have daisy garlic. So I'm going to be using maybe like a bunch of them. One level teaspoon of mild curry powder. I have this curry powder. One bay leaf. Salt and freshly ground black pepper. So I have the black pepper right here. And I have salt over here. Okay. And then we also need three to four cups of chicken stock. I don't have the liquid form. Yeah, I'm going to be using this. Now honestly tell me, do you say it Kanor or do you say Nor? I think it's Nor because we don't say knife. So yeah. Okay. And then I have a vegetable oil. This one right here. Okay. 
So that's pretty much it. So let's start cooking. You guys are going to help me uh, with the potatoes, with the peeling and cutting of potatoes and the onions. And I'm going to work with the pumpkin, okay? Here, chop this for me. And then uh, peel and cube these for me. You did it for me? Oh, thanks, you guys. Just like a lachet. Those are nicely cubed. And the onions. You guys are the best. We need to put the pumpkin cubes in a pot of water with the bay leaf and boil under, t uh, under, until tender. Here's my pot of water. Oof. Where's the bay leaf? Here is the bay leaf. In you go. I've cut the pumpkin into cubes. Let me add that to our pot. We're gonna let that cook until it's tender. So I've crushed the garlic. And for the chicken stock, I have, I'm using chicken stock. I don't have vegetable stock. I'm gonna use the canora, nor cubes. I'm going to use two of them. We have to make three to four cups. So I've added two. And then I'm going to just add hot water to here. Okay, so that's been boiling away. How do you check the tenderness of the pumpkin? Just stick a knife through. Ah, yes, that is tender. So I've prepared the chicken stock. It's right here. It's not very salty. It's just right. Okay, so add a tablespoon of oil. What is a tablespoon? I have no idea. Okay, let's just put a tablespoon. I guess that's about right. Oops. Yeah, maybe. Okay. So gently fry the chopped onions. Remember, do not darken them. We just want to saute them. Just when they turn transparent, not brown. Just, just let them hang out. Okay, there I've drained the pumpkin. So here it says gently fry the chopped onion in the vegetable oil until transparent and add the crushed garlic and curry powder. Crushed garlic, here you go. And curry powder, we're supposed to put in one teaspoon level, okay? Okay. Mmm, already smells great. Then you have to add the pumpkin. I'm going to remove the bay leaf, just set it aside. And then I'm going to add the pumpkin. Let's give it a good mix. I'm going to bring the heat a bit up because now we're just going to make the soup. Now we have to add potato. Potatoes going in. Now we're going to add the stock. Ooh. And then we add Salt and pepper. So I'm just going to add a little bit of salt. And then a little bit of pepper. Give that a mix. So I'm just going to let it simmer. Let's cover it. And then we're just going to blend everything in and serve with freshly baked warm rolls. I do not have that, we're just gonna have the soup by itself. I'm just gonna let this cool down a bit and then we're going to blend. So there's the pumpkin soup. I just took a ladle and I put it in the blender. Okay, I'm not gonna turn it on. Okay, so here is the soup ready. I took out some nutmeg, I sprinkled some on top of it. And for a final touch, you can add cream, a swirl of cream. And here is the final dish. So let's taste. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim.
Say Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Mm, how is that? Okay, that, now my turn, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Mm, so delicious, so creamy. So everyone, we finished our soup activity as well. We finished both our activities for the back of this board game. Let's close it up. And set this aside. Now we have the joke books. So we have our four joke books. Dead funny jokes. Dead scary jokes. Dead spooky jokes. Dead weird jokes. If you flip the books over. So what does it say here? Dead spooky, dead weird, or dead scary. But all of them dead funny. You'll tickle a skeleton's funny bone with these jokes straight from the crypt with space for your own spooky doodles and ghostly drawings so there is space that you can do your own stuff in also that's actually pretty neat where do baby ghosts go during the day they go to day scare centers. What should you do if you find yourself surrounded by Dracula, Dr. Frankenstein's monster, a zombie, and a werewolf? Let's just hope you are at a fancy dress party. Why are ghosts bad at telling lies? Because you can see right through them. <laughs> okay. Now we have the mummy. What did the vampire doctor say? Next, please. <laughs> What do ghosts put on before they go to bed? Face cream. What do space monster sweet shops sell? Mars bars, galaxy, and Milky Ways. What's a frog's favorite soda? Croke a cola. That's pretty good. Now for the skull. Why are ghosts such cowards? Because they got no guts. What's the vampire's favorite dance? The Fangdango. Why don't skeletons play music in church? They don't have any organs. That's pretty good. And last one we have... Dracula. What do ghouls think about Dracula films? They're fantastic. What do you call a vampire comedian? Cracula. <laughs> what is a prehistoric ghost called? A pterodactyl. If you didn't laugh at them, then you are dead inside. Hey, which actually is the theme of our video. So everyone, if you really enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, press the bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post, leave a constructive comment, and share this video. I'll really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye. Hey, thank you so much for sticking around. If you want to watch similar videos, please check out the playlist right here.